So Roy's been part of our Wise Mirror family and very much part of the core team, like I said. And he was been he's done this amazing work and created and directed this Mars Girl concept, which is an anthology series that we want to carry forward in Wise Mirror. And um, I've also seen the great work that you've done with Ma Mission Mars, which um, keeping keep India keep walking India, which has really put India on the stage for you know. Uh, really exploring Mars and uh, space and so forth. And you I know, see the, the, the yeah. story that came in India when that Mars mission happened, yeah. because of the, the Indian word, Jugad, yes. you know, like you, you do innovation without spending money, you know. So right. the, the, fu the funny headlines that came was the budget for the, for the movie, Sandra Bullock's mm -hmm. star, you know, uh, um, gravity, uh, gravity, yeah, right. was m more <laughs> than the budget for Mars mission in India. You know, the entire space uh, uh, mission Mi for mission, Mars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mars, it right, amazing, isn't it? Yeah. The movie was, was know, more expensive. Well, Jugad is the term which <laughs> yeah. we talk about. Yeah, using yeah. the minimum resources to create yeah. maximum value, yeah. and it's really that frugal innovation, mm. and it's what I think a lot of the emerging markets in India certainly has had this term. Every other country has other terms also, but mm. a lot to learn from that, which is reverse mm. innovation, something which I've been involved with a lot in teaching mm. and uh, part of the innovation work. But you're right, yeah. So I think. Um, um, you know, with that Mars concept and space exploration is very close to my heart. You know, I had my first stint at NASA working at the Canberra Deep Space Communication Complex at Tidbin Villa and uh, in the early 90s and also working on Project SETI, which was Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Now, how do you see this overall conversation for space? Because I want to really interlink it with the quantum thinking that we've been discussing a little bit about, like the overview effect, of course, which we, you know, we were just alluding earlier about how do we get people to really stand away and understand how fragile our planet is and how much we need to really care for it. Then there are other phenomena like quantum phenomena, like butterfly effect, quantum entanglement. As we know, everything is so intricately interconnected. And the point of singularity, along with black hole, white hole, annihilations, interconnects, time travel through wormholes, uh, really impacting the cosmic dance that we're very much part of. Uh, more so, there are many practical applications of uh, such as satellite imagery mapping, which you're involved with a lot with telemetry applications uh, impacting every sector. Now, from the more abstract phenomena in deep space, uh, what do you foresee as some of the real uh, future shaping sort of for humanity as we see, as we know that science fiction today is going to be science fact tomorrow? Um, what are some of those areas that you see can be really influence and work with that wisdom to? use space at, at its best see you know i'm i'm not a scientist and uh, uh <laughs> there's a lot that i don't know than i know right i'm just to put it mildly so, my the problem here is the, all those words singularity wormhole quantum physics mm. the more you learn it seems the less you know right, right? so it's a it's, it's a strange paradox. Mm. And that is why it is possible that the people who are the wisest in the world are the ones who are not talking at all. Mm -hmm. And actually that is quite dangerous for us because I think they should be encouraged to talk and because, you know, their wisdom is the world needs. Right. right. The person I do, who says I don't know mm. is perhaps the person wiser than the person who says I know. Right, right. Having said that, I will say, it seems like, you know, I'm talking against machines all the time. Actually, I'm not. The satellite is a great machine. And if you can actually put sensors in the visual range, in the in different EMR range, in the radio, different radio frequencies, yeah. you know, and you can read, you know, air quality, Exactly. You know, EMR density, or you know, what kind of waves are actually traversing the earth, coursing through human bodies, what is the harm it is causing. So we are, there is so much radiation happening all around Correct. us, yep. you know, and uh, those electromagnetic waves are no, passing through us all the time. Yep. Mm. And we don't exactly know what it is doing to us. And it is the satellite thing that actually has a really holistic view of the world you know if you have a geocentric 
uh, uh, if a satellite in the geocentric orbit, orbit yeah, thirty six thousand right, yeah. uh, you know kilometers, kilometers, kilometers yes, yeah, right, yeah, above the above the Earth. Uh, Correct. And you know, it's looking down. Yeah, it's the overview. Actually, <laughs> it sees the Earth. Exactly. You know, that's right. This eye in the sky mm -hmm. from space. Yeah. You know, may have a more objective view of the world. Correct. Than we have. So, if you actually put correct sensors, mm -hmm. you actually put mathematical filters, mm. and you begin to read stuff that is happening on the ground. Yeah. Yep. And you know, you make decision based on data. Then. Mm then you know in a sense that you you're using machines yeah to make a better world that's right and that that balances you yes. know like is still with humans then right and i think that is why the future of the world will not be nation states mm. it may not even be big corporations alone mm. it may be a network of yep. wise people mm. who who don't have money who will not be working for money right or for power mm. they may be working you know to make a better world right it's like a surgeon who finds satisfaction mm. in pulling off a very intricate surgery yes you know and maybe to have res the respect from from a patient who lends a life and death decision yeah you know to be uh, gives it to a surgeon to handle it mm, mm. that kind of trust the humanity global humanity may have to place in a wide global circle of altruism yes. altruists mm. who will actually do good for the world because they're wise and knowledgeable right and skilled mm. and uh, they may save the world yet you know right and it'll say it's not to just save humanity because saving humanity is a collateral benefit mm -hmm. of saving the planet right you must save the planet to save humanity so true unless we unless we get this right mm. whatever else we do will go wrong you'll have a lot of money in the bank yeah but you'll be you'll have to lock yourself in a room because there's disease everywhere exactly you know? yeah. yeah 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 some people are so rich that mm. uh, or so poor rather mm. that all they have is money right <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's uh, so you know you can build a gated yeah. community yeah, yeah. where you keep the world out but you must understand that perhaps yeah. it's not a gated community perhaps it's mm -hmm. a ghetto mm -hmm. the world is free you are yeah. trapped mm -hmm. you know true yeah interesting times yeah okay